And what we're going to do is we're going to take a picture from the internet and we are going to basically trace it and turn it into like a 3D, a pretty basic 3D model. So what I'm going to do is I've got our kind of on shape home screen here. I'm going to go up here and we're going to actually start a new document for this. So I'm going to click create. I'm going to click document and I'm going to name this tracing an image. Okay. And I'm going to press OK here. We're going to load. And here we are. So just like normal, I'm going to click the front over here. So we were looking straight at the front plane. Um, and what we're going to do is um, I am going to basically go to the internet. We want to find some sort of picture. Okay. Um, usually like a silhouette works well. So like, for example, I'm going to bounce over here to Google Images. Uh, I basically just Googled uh, goose silhouette, and I just picked one out here. Here's the one I'm going to use. I'm just going to right-click it, click Save Image As, and it's going to save here. Okay? Um, and so, um, once you've got that saved and ready to go, um, then we'll be able to use it. Okay, and you can do whatever sort of silhouette you want. Um, picking an animal is good, kind of whatever uh, you want there. So I'm going to bounce back to here. Okay, so I have my image saved. Okay, and that's, uh, I, got, I just have mine saved on the desktop. So now we're back here. We're on the front plane. Let's go ahead and start our sketch. So I'm going to click sketch, front. Okay, and this time, instead of actually doing a drawing right away, we're going to put our picture in here. So over here, I'm going to click this little drop down menu and click this insert image. Okay, and this menu is going to pop up. Now you should see an import button down here. If you do not see an import button, go ahead and click command minus sign to zoom your screen back out. Sometimes on the Macs, it, it hides that. Okay. So again, if you don't see this import button, click command uh, minus sign. Okay. So I'm going to click import and you're basically just going to find your image there. Okay. So here's mine. Okay. And now it's going to upload. Okay. And there'll be a little notification over here on the right. Uh, and you should see the file name pop up in here. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to click this um, uh, file name. I'm going to just click it once. And now basically it says draw image rectangle. So you're going to draw where you want your rect your image to be. So I'm going to make mine pretty large here. So I'm going to just start down here and draw it in. And there we can see our goose. Okay, or whatever shape or animal you're doing. Okay, so once we've got that in there, I am going to go ahead and close this sketch out. So I'm going to just click this check mark and you'll see it kind of fade away a little bit. Okay. So that basically now it's in the background. There's our sketch. So now what we want to do is we want to draw on top of this. So I'm going to click this sketch button again. You'll notice now it says sketch two. So now we've got a new sketch. I'm going to click the front plane again. So again, it should say front plane there. And now you want to basically we're going to outline this. Okay. Kind of like what you would do in Photoshop with like the lasso tool. Um, but here, since the goose is uh, mostly curvy, I'm going to use the spline tool. If your uh, picture's got like a lot of straight lines, you might use like this line tool over here. Um, but for this case, I'm going to use the spline tool. So I'm going to just click that. Kind of can start wherever you want on here. Uh, I'm just going to start right here. And I'm just going to kind of click through, sort of tracing this. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of go around. I'm going to do this kind of quickly. It might take you longer. Mine's not going to be perfect here. Okay, and so you just kind of whoops, make your way around. Again, I'm doing this very, very quickly, so you'll probably want to take your time. All right, so there's my goose. Zoom him, zoom him in a little bit. Okay, now when you're done, I'm going to click the escape button, so it exits that tool. Now, if you, you notice, there's all these little points on here, so if you need to like adjust any of these spots where it got a little wonky, you can just come up here and click a point and kind of drag it into place where you want it. So like you might need to like uh, fix up some of your spots. You can just uh, drag those in a little bit if you need to. Um, okay, so that's how you can kind of fix it up. So there's our uh, our goose. Um, I'm going to click the check mark. 
so my sketch is in there. Now let's uh, go ahead and extrude this. So I'm going to click extrude. And I'm going to click my goose sketch. And you'll notice he is being extruded. So let's, you know, maybe I don't want it to be one inch. Maybe I want it to be, you know, 0.75 inches. Not as thick there. And I'm going to click the check mark. Okay. Now it's a little bit hard to see the goose because we still have that picture on the background. So what we're going to do is I'm going to come over here. And that picture is actually our sketch one. So I'm actually going to just click this little eyeball where it says hide sketch one. And now we just see our goose. Okay, so there he is. Okay, so that's how we're doing that.